Well, when we were flying to Maui with Creighton, I never thought we'd be playing him here or I would have tried to steal a few play calls off his computer. Coach McDermott and I sat across from each other and for five hours going and five hours coming back. And many of the hours spent on the laptop talking about our teams and here we are playing to go to a Final Four. So excited uh, for the opportunity and look forward to playing tomorrow. We know uh, last year we had the lead uh, late, into the, late into the game, but um, those are situations that you just grow from, and I believe that we've grown from that uh, this year. So, of course, it's like you want, you want like a revenge-type game, but it's also like, like you got to stay level-headed and then just, just stay the course of the game so that it won't happen again. And we're, we're, more, veterans than we were, than we, we're more veterans now than we were back then, so we're just trying our best to learn from that, learn from that situation. Yeah, I'll say uh, in the moment, you know, when all those things are taking place, the loss of Creighton and some other losses we have towards the late end of games, um, you know, they seem really bad in the moment, and, you know, everybody's frustrated, but I think it's molded us to the team we are right now as far as closing out games when things get tight. Uh, the pressure's not there like it used to be, for sure, and we have people stepping up and making plays, and everybody's more comfortable. So, uh, you know, in the moment, it seems like the worst thing ever, but I think ultimately it's a matter of not having to go through that again. Uh, regardless of who it is. Yeah, last year I fought out, out of the game uh, at the early uh, stage of the game, and I wasn't able to uh, help the team in my way of defense to uh, accomplish a victory. So this year coming up to this game, I plan to like be mindful of what I do. I not get uh, easy, easy chip fouls from the refs and also ensure myself to be available for the team when it needs me. Like Dutch mentioned earlier, the guys who were here, they pretty much had the, the tradition and the culture already set and it was, it was passed down and to the younger guys and to the transfers like myself and uh, Matt. And I think I just, we had the DNA of a team that, that goes far in March. Uh, we're, we're a mature team, uh, we play hard on defense um, and we, we just stay together throughout all the ups and downs. I feel like it's more been our grit, our mentality. <clears throat> Everybody believes that we can win and uh, I feel like that's, just <clears throat> that's been carrying around the whole team. And uh, I felt everybody's energy just going into the season and, and the work that everybody put in. So I just kind of knew uh, in my head and in my soul that we, we could do this.